organic qualitative analysis for the given compound. First let us perform the preliminary test. The given compound is colorless and it is in solid state. It means that carbohydrates or simple phenols may be present. The given compound is odorless. Now the second test is ignition test. Take a small amount of substance on a nickel spoon and burn it. The substance burns with the soot. It means that the given compound is aromatic compound. Third test is Bayer's test. It is also known as action of KMnO4 that is action of potassium permanganate. Take 0.2 gram of substance, add sodium carbonate and KMnO4 drop wise. It decolorizes, it means that the given compound is having easily oxidizable side chains. Fourth test is action of bromine water. Take the substance and add bromine water to it. It is not decolorized. This means that the compound is not easily brominated. Fifth test is elemental analysis. To perform the elemental analysis, we need a stock solution. To prepare the stock solution, take a small size piece of the sodium in sodium fusion and heat it gently to melt it and add small amount of substance to it until the bottom of the sodium fusion tube becomes red hot. After that put it into a china dish containing the 10 ml of water and close it with a wire ball. Boil it and filter it. This filter is known as the stock solution. solubility test we have got the compound in group 4 that is carboxylic acid and phenol so let's perform the classification reactions in group 4 take the compound and add sodium bicarbonate solution to it effervescence is produced therefore it belongs to acid group now let us perform the confirmatory test for acids by acidification. Take the substance, add alcohol and few drops of concentrated H2SO4. Pour this solution to a cyanide dish containing water or water containing Na2CO3. 
fruity odor is formed due to ester formation. Therefore, acid is confirmed. Now, take the substance and add alcoholic FeCl3 that is alcoholic ferric chloride to it. Violet color is formed. This confirms that it is a salicylic acid which is also known as phenolic acid. By performing the preliminary test, we came to know that the compound has easily oxidizable side chains. And by performing the elemental analysis, we came to know that nitrogen, sulfur and halogens are absent. By performing the solubility test, we came to know that the compound is insoluble in water and dilute HCl, but it is soluble in dilute NaOH. Hence, by performing all the qualitative analysis, we came to know that the compound is salicylic acid. This is the structure of salicylic acid. Thank you.